All right, hello there. <laughs> it's it's like my third time recording because I forgot to press the audio. But anyways, um, thanks to these guys on top of here for helping me, and welcome to Call Me Trickster Guy, which I took almost two years to make because I was too lazy. But anyways, uh, let's move to the basic first, okay? Trickster is a PVP class, not a PVE class. But if you still you want to use Trickster for PVE, don't worry, I'll cover that too. But but of course, this guy is more towards PvP. But yeah, alright. So for PvE trickster, the stats and the gear that you want to use is something like this. Twenty-eight. Uh, you want twenty strength. General strength is enough. You don't need more or less. Uh, you want twenty strength for the piercing arrow. Ninety dex for the. For, so you can shoot four arrows at once. Also, you get more crit. And you know, so you want seventy int at least because once you put thirty dex in, into into you. Your arrows just start scaling out of intelligence. As you can see, I'm shooting like four arrows, and I can also penetrate through the, uh, through this dummy because I have twenty strength. Okay. As for the gears, I'm using a Spider Queen crown because this is the best crown as for right now because you get thirteen stat points for each of, for each stat basically, and since it's trickster, we use strengths intelligent index so we have 39 points which is more which is four points more than a fully created forgotten crown also this is fully created okay if you have if you have a full ancient that's the best this uh, mine is fully ancient int if you have a very hobo which is keen fierce or swift it's already better than ranging you but if you don't have any very hobo or if you, just, you just want to be cheap you want to be f like get your gears ready up um ranging gears better and for the bow even if like that's one long bow is the most cracked bow for pve as for the dagger you can you can use forgotten crown but if you want to be but if you're like poor on just starting new you could use the you can use the icicle for it you can use the icicle it's just the same thing it, it, it just have low weapon uh, like base damage like base attack um I won't really recommend throw salon, but you can use it if you want to. As for the incisor, you can use it if you want to. Like if you want to do like a melee damage or, or, or anything, yeah, sure, why not? And let's move to the books. For the hunt, the adventure book, um, max up, uh, you need, no, I mean yeah, max up double slash and max up magic missile. Others uh, is not important. For hunter book, uh, get double jump and max barrage. Others uh, not important. You can get max jump and max magic if you want to, but I think barrage, barrage is better for PVE. As for trickster book, get max trap, and the others is not important. But I highly recommend maxing out switch strike and never max out disengage. Okay, hear me out. Why you want it, don't want to max disengage is because once you get the ten, you're basically like flying, like from like across the map. So it's like really, it can be pretty bad to be honest. But uh, unless you're farming in dunes. As for switch strike, it's just a good ability for. Like mobility right you want at least for example right you're on dunes and you do you too lazy to to walk you so you just switch strike them wait don't move please. oh wait they will disappear so let's say right you're just too lazy to move so you just switch strike you just switch pieces with them can they not just you know what i think you get my point like we switch places basically yeah, that's basically it. That's, um, so you can get disengaged but no more than 7 if you want to but disengage doesn't do that much in PvE considering it does, it does low damage and switch strike does more damage if you get what I mean. Alright, so hello everyone. Um, I forgot to add this part but how do you usually want to use when using a PvE build is like this. Example like this, you don't want to shoot like this because, especially when you go out, because you want your arrows to like. Because if you see it really properly, your arrow spears like it goes through this scarab and it lands over here. So, what you want, you want to do is land at the edge of it so all your explosions and the after like first, you basically pierce your enemies the damage that you do when you pierce, and second, it's when. I mean, when it hits the ground and explodes, so you're basically doing two times damage. Okay, yeah, this is the only part I forgot to add. Forgot to, um, I forgot about it. But you also want to 
15 decks is also fine but I prefer 90 decks for the extra crit rate and more DPS but and as you can see here I'm using like all glaze gears are clean except for my crown so yeah I do highly recommend getting crown first rather than other sets so you can get you a very very balanced stat now let's move to PvP okay then okay I think it's better if I explain one by one okay so the most common mistake I see a lot of new trickster you players do and why and, and end up making them hate trickster is because if you know and there's a lot of if you realize there's a lot of tricks so you just use this almost this exact build a, a, cr a crown forgotten crown or spider crown a hobo and scissor and that's on longbow sometimes they use icicle for pve pvp and i even use 20 strengths 50 decks and full intelligence the reason i don't recommend this build for pvp is because look at your arrow like example this is your normal fighting range that like, yes you can hear your enemy but in an actual fight, you won't be using your bows a lot. That's one. And the thing is, hitting your enemies is a bit harder with this compared if you use it, compared to you're using a ballista. And that you can see the arrow travels much much faster. Oh wait, that's out of fair bit. Oh god. All right, for PvP, there's multiple builds that you can use. Uh, um, but let's move. But let's move to gear first because it's easier to to explain like that. So for gears it's almost the same but the only difference is you want to use ballista and scissor. Yeah that, that, yeah that's the only difference really. And also get a uh, get a hobo. Don't use ranging gear even for PvP because yeah, so the amount of defense that ranging gear ranging gear gives is too low compared to hobo. Like it's the twenty nine difference and hobo also gives you uh, ten uh times in block which is de which is decent. I forgot to record a transaction for this part, but hey, now let's talk about weapons, the bows. I'm not really sure what scrap bow does, but um, please um, correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm not mistaken, this bow basically slows you down if you if you, if you hit a, cr a critical strike, okay? And then and then there's the SR bow. The SR bow is it's decent, but it's not. I only recommend using it if you're playing like um, dagger for dagger. What I really meant here is just play like an assassin basically. You know how like assassin uses SR bow for crit rate. Therefore, we also use it use it as a crit rate. Get it? Also, just imagine uh, we're assassins, but with actual brain cells because we use intelligence. Get it? And assassin use ratty head and they get negative intelligence, so they're dumb. Now that's out of the way. Let's now let's go with ballista. Ballista is um you could say the ballista is the, basically the best bow for PvP because look at how that like how bad it is to aim with it. Like the bullet drop is not that it's not bad like it's really good and the I mean the velocity the velocity is really good and the and this um and the bullet speed is also not not bad like literally if you're using a that's long longbow for example like most people like most people do. Let's say I'm putting my uh, my crosshair, I mean my mouse on top of the dummy's head You can see that the arrow is going like down like to the to the purple glass over here But if I use ballista in, in the same same way The arrow just hit just hits the dummy That's why I like to use ballista because you also have less uh, less strength but Now th there's also like the, the, that one bow that nobody talks but I hate it so much when fighting And then it's the spider leg bow Oh god no, what does this what this bow does is um it basically slows you down. Like if you're in colo, if you have ninety decks, uh please don't kill me. I I I love I I, love, I, I, I hate fighting you people. And the best part is about this bow is even the like all abilities can ca they can cast this perk, which is really good. It says on, but in order in order for the ability to. I mean, for the perk to 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 like work, right? You only you have to like you 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 have to have your bow like outside, like using your bow. You cannot use your dagger. So this this kind of forces you into being a more like a bowman, but and that and that's a bit bit low dam bit lower damage. But I'll get to the build later. So yeah, that's the only important part for now. Uh, I don't I don't remember if I have mentioned this, but. 
use a variant hobo don't use ranging gear ranging gear is trash for pvp and as for dagger best dagger would be the scissor solely because the overbite perk and unless they release the forgotten dagger perk which i forgot what what was the perk i think it's like um re you, you take like 15 percent of the original hp i think I'll, I'll check wiki later i'll check wiki later and put it on the screen but for now um the best dagger is the incisor but if you're more like a new player like a free to play player or something like you can just use thrust talent because it's free it also gives you speed boost and thrust talent thrust ta turtles talent also um boosts your uh, arrows too even at night like most people say it doesn't but actually it does i mean you can also check it on wiki if you if you're too lazy to check it like even the wiki stated that it does work at night but if i go if but i can make a video about it if you want to and then this the icicle the icicle is not really recommended because during pvp right you want to use bow both bow and arrow at once so you don't want to like i mean using uh, dagger you don't want to like do too little damage but i guess it works if, if you're trying to grind the trick to slot let's see if there's other dagger that i've missed dagger uh spider um spider um uh, let's see digger's last resort is more for it's i don't really know why people would use it like why same for shattering dog but and but but savage shack it's actually good if you have max execute and you have really and you have you have really high attack with it so you can just insta insta kill people like i know super chief uses it because he's a chat I mean, he used it on his assassin if I'm not mistaken. Uh, just a reminder, reminder, best crown is still Spider Queen crown. Get a hobo even it's not even if it's not a variant. Um, best bow is ballista and best dagger is in Caesar. Now let's move to stats first. Okay, so the stat that, that you want to go is something like this. Um, don't mind me, I accidentally put 71. But basically, you want you want at least 70 strength and 70 intelligence. Okay, and you can go like extra for and then you want to go for like 50 decks that's like the bare minimum of that of any stats but you cannot get these stats if you don't have any variant so what i recommend is um ancient your ho i mean not just ancient like try using like one or two ancient like i know like i screwed up this one that is supposed to be 46 so you have to use two ancient or just get a variant you know i mean you can use ancient and spider queen crown or just ancient one of your weapons like getting ancient is not that hard i mean the weapons are also uh, really cheap like if you're using a let's say you don't have, you're poor you don't have a a, a a a variant ballista right you can just ancient you can buy your normal one and just ancient it if you want to but yeah the easiest option is to just get a variant let me let me just show you a swift right so on uh, the bow is now swift you have 12 decks like you see you have 70 strength 70 int and 57 decks while the items being clean like if you don't want to ancient or anything that's the basic build that you want to go also um some people may ask this what if i use forgotten crown right uh forgotten crown is decent but it's not recommended because of the low stats the only reason I use it is because I want to use a uh, full int trickster without using beard and it looks better than spider queen crown like look look at this I look so majestic but okay now that that's the first stat you wanna go and this this is the normal stat that you wanna go and the second stat that most a lot, lot of people like to use is um this is mostly in colo Like if you're in Colo, the stats that you want to go is something like this, like 30 dex, uh, 30, um, you can go 20 strength if you want, but I think 10 strength is already enough. And just go full up intelligence really, that's it, you don't need any other stats. As my frames are dying, okay so I have 150, like this is like the absolute pain in the ass build that I really hate fighting in Colo. Um, this is what I call we call the annoying build and call that you need tank ranks, uh, full out in and 30 decks. Um, you can get 5 decks too if you want to, but I think 30 decks is better for the cooldown perk. The, the, the okay, so th this is basically it. 
Max drop 7 disengage um, Switch strike at 6 Hunter book get the, uh, double jump Max out shampo And adventure book Max magic mixel and get double slash That's it That's the, mo the only important part for this build Okay, and also if you when you're using this build, I highly recommend using the SR bow. You can just crit with it. Yeah, <laughs> like when using crit, uh, you have twenty five. Is it really low? But hey, it works though. Okay, so how this build basically works is um. Imagine this is like the top of Colo, like the mountain of Col in Colo. Like you, you see, like a lot of people play um, fighting. So what you want to do is you just disengage into them, place trap. They'll die, and you just get the marks, and you just move out. Yeah, that's the only place I did, like in Colo. You just disengage in, you trap people, they die, you switch track them, or magic vessel, or do any damage, and then you just yeet outside. But yeah, the only problem with this build is when trying to catch an enemy, because you have low strength, so you, like, you're just really bad. So what you want to do is that you just disengage into them, and just hopefully, your trap hits them, and you have a really good aim with switch strike. And six switch strike, I really hate it. I hate not having ten switch strike because it's really slow. Okay, now that's out of the way. Now the build that I have in mind is that a lot of people use is the full strength trickster. So if, and for the full strength text trickster, the only important thing that you need to do is, of course, get thirty deck, uh, thirty decks, and then you just. Go out full strength, you don't really need anything else. The item I recommend using the bow that I recommend using is um the scrap bow. Wait, let me check. 146, 139, 151, 134, 101. Yeah, the weapon I recommend is the scrap bow solely because of the high base attack. Because you want to do the more lot lot of damage with it with disengage. With disengage, uh I still recommend seven. Of three oh eight six, three oh eight six, three oh two one. So yeah, if you want to be a disengaged swimmer, which I really don't like, and I hate you, and I will beat your mother if you do it. Um, yeah, because I, I yes, this is no, this is not a threat because I literally just kill a lot of disengaged spammer because they never win against me. I don't know what's in their head thinking if disengage spammer disengage could lead to victory, but you know you're gonna teach them every knowledge that I know. But basically, when you may play um, a disengage speed, <laughs> so the other mask that you could use is the shark pole. Wait, let me just find it. Is are the um you could use ready head, but why? I mean, you can use you could use ready head if you want to. Um, the moglo mask, fully graded or fully ancient. Oh yes, the Titan Hunter mask. You can use it any. You can use any any of them. It doesn't really matter because only because this is basically an an assassin. Okay. Okay. So um, that's seven is engaged, and this is ten. Okay, let me just do it again. Yeah, that's ten. The difference is not a lot, really. Seven and. It's just a damage difference because you want to spam it. Also, I saw this one uh, on YouTube like, the other day that even you spamming disengage. Uh, I'll search for the video if I can. I can find it. Um, that's the the last resort perk, right? So right now I'm doing. Can you? What do you have to crit? I have two crit rate and I crit, huh? That's three five six one, and then what? And this this that's they're using this one three five, three, and then I just three five four and this this six four eight two, so yeah you're basically doing like two times the damage almost two times the damage you know. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't have the thirty text perks and perk anymore. Why are you now that the lot no not now that I think about it, th this weapon might actually work. I mean in PvP it's just too risky because we're also you also have like really low health, yeah. Also for the books, right? Um you don't really need anything really like you can get you can get like anything that you want, you can get max jumbo but as a good barrage. 
get Metro Magic Missile Double Sludge, you get anything that you want. The only important thing is your release engage because every time fighting, the only thing you're gonna do is just this. You go back, you get to the enemy, you go this. You go back to the enemy, and you do this. That's literally a whole gameplay. That's literally really boring. I hate it so much. Also, I forgot. I think I think I forgot to mention this, but I don't know. I don't know how I forgot. Or I keep forgetting, forgetting because I'm not using. I'm not using script right now. When you're using, when you're using this this build, like this most optimal build, the second strength, seventeen to fifty dex build. And the one thing that you need to know is, I mean, no. Uh, what what I meant is, um, the, for the books, I think I forgot to mention this, but you get double slash, max magic missile. I think it's not important. Hunter book get double jump. I recommend max maxing out shampoo. I right, uh, get max shampoo and get max execute if you want to. But I, uh, you can get max barrage if you want to. But, but I like shampoo better. I mean, I get I like execute better. As for trickster book, um, this is where it gets really bit interesting. Okay, um, max out straight strike. Even if you're new, please do it. Max out straight strike. It's really good in PvP. I literally one shot people with it uh, and you can get max trap if you want to but if you know me the build that I prefer to use is get 6 in the trap and 7 to disengage 2 1 this is literally my build in the main game you can get max trap and get 3 to disengage it's also fine but what I like to do is right so this is basically how your findings are going to be right you, you uh, disengage when someone gets engaged, you just disengage and instantly um, uh, shoot them. Okay, you can just disengage into a switch strike. The reason I, I want you to get max switch strike is because it works and as, as an additional damage damage. <sighs> like yeah, you just you just do more damage with it basically. Like you you can follow up like one thing that is really like you can get uh, something like this. Like, imagine like they get into that trap and you just. Disengage them into the like just disengage them. It just just so much damage. It's really good. Um, just, you can also do something like this, which is really hard. Is uh, shampoo and switch strike, but they fix the like end leg and, and stuff, so it's really hard to do it now. I mean, it's almost impossible. You can also do this, like um, I forgot what it's called. Yeah, disengage into switch strike. It also works. Okay, um, I guess that's all for. I guess that's all the build I've covered. Because I'm not using script and I'm t because I don't want to anymore. Okay, so I think I forgot to add this, but the best boot, the best boots is the sand boots from Gauntlet. And if you don't want to use it, you can you also have scrap tongue boot as an alternate option. But I still stand by sand boots being the best boot for now for tricksters. You only use scrap tongue boots if you have like um if you don't have five decks. Like you just go want to go like full out intelligence or anything or just even to be a monkey right you just want to jump oh yeah so the tldr is um this is the basically the tldr of the build um get this gear get the stats so this is where i have to cut myself because in the video i screwed up and i got really pissed off about something but anyways for the book basically for the adventure book just get the double slash and max out magic missile when the others is doesn't, doesn't really important and for the hunter book max out shampoo and you can get anything else really and get a double jump of course as for the trickster book um max out switch strike that is a must basically um and then you could do six into in the trap and seven in disengage but if you don't want to do that you can go on uh, full up 10 out of 10 traps and 10 out of 10 disengage 10 out of 10 switch strike and three into disengage okay a narrow a narrow uh, path right you can you they just are stuck here right you can still use it as a yeah as a crowd control but one thing that i have learned is to use it like a shadow flurry um if you've played assassin you should know that one thing about assassin is right if you, the enemy get, gets close to you or you just want to get close to the enemy you can do something like this imagine uh, someone gets close to you right and the first thing you can do is just you just trap you just trap them and you yeah or when you you, you just get into the enemy you know give something like this 
like it's more into in, like it's a price tool rather than scrap window that's how i can explain it and now it's time for the um trickster training location so once you arrive in port fidelio right you're using a rune or just came here get the level 30 and you see this bar over here so what you want to do is go uh just go backwards you see this green woman over here um just just double jump okay and voila this is the trainer so yeah that's all for that's all for now for the trickster guy um you have, if you have any uh, any any other question feel free to leave it in the comments down below or just ask me in discord or in my i have my discord link my dad discord um i i've link I, I will link it down below so if you want to uh, ask further stuff like more detailed stuff I, sure i can help you with that but you can go, just go dm me personally my dm's always open uh, so yeah thanks for watching and i hope you finally found a good trickster guy and not some crappy shit and just lose in, in in every pvp because you know what happened is they just use the slot trickster guy they just use 20 strength with the fucking dwarf longbow so what end up happening is they cannot hit their target with, with their bows and they just fucking ball and like bro this is the worst class blah blah blah, blah. like shit I shit you not you're using a bad guidance and you're not you know you have like 20 strength what you were you expecting you expect to do like 10k damage with your dagger and like he have like good velocity with this dust fucking dust from longbow huh but anyways have a nice day have a nice weekend i just woke up actually and if i sound that i apologize for that but have a nice day i'll see you later bye